Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Yoko Local Tips. My name is Daryl Evans, co-founder of Yoko Local, and uh, feel free to ask me any questions about today's episode over on Twitter. You can at Daryl underscore Evans me. I'll be happy to chat back with you. So today's topic is how can you use social media to grow your business? There's been a lot of talk, and there's a lot of business owners struggling with all of not only the growth of social media, but trying to be everywhere and turn it into leads and sales and, of course, profits for your business. Let's talk about the very first thing that you should think about in social media, and that is the branding component of allowing your business to be branded. Or if you're an, a solopreneur or an entrepreneur, independent contractor, using it to brand yourself. Uh, you know, with as many channels as there, as there are out there, you must understand that when you make initial contact with a new prospect, let's say, or a new business partner, referral partner, affiliate relationship, they're going to go online looking for you. They're going to go online and see where you are. One of the very first things I think about, uh, you know, and having started my journey in social media in 2006 on LinkedIn, I found that people would always go back or start going back looking to see where I was and what I was associated with. So branding yourself is the first thing you can do when it comes to growing your business in social media. Number two is always be looking to share useful tips. Uh, Today, the salesperson, the business owner, you know, you're not in control. We are not in control today the consumer is. Consumers can go online and search for just about anything they want under the sun and start gathering information. Now, we like to joke in our office that, of course, if it's produced on the Internet, it must be right. It must be gospel. Uh, obviously, that's not true. So, But the key is, is be willing and looking for ways to share do-it-yourself type tips to your audience, to your consumer. So number one, it provides them with what they're looking for during the research stage of their process, but it also provides them the opportunity to see you as an expert, which, believe it or not, will draw them closer to you. Tip number three is to always be looking to connect with referral partners. Uh, It's not always necessarily about finding your customer online. Sometimes it's important to be doing business through uh, the degrees of separation that you have with other individuals online. And of course, with LinkedIn, you can do that. You can do it with your Facebook groups, your Twitter groups, and things of that nature. But look for people of like minds. Look for people who are in front of audiences that you are trying to get in front of. And think about that as a connection tool of using online social media to to build a a business referral network, if you will, and that could lead to, of course, your customer. Tip number four I always like to say is don't be in the witness protection program in social media, meaning you've got profiles everywhere, but you're not active, you're not conversating, you're not engaging. I mean, if you think about it, you, you must be visible, and your profile by itself doesn't necessarily make you visible. So find interesting conversations to jump into, whether it's on Twitter or LinkedIn groups or Facebook groups. There's enough places where you can jump in and add value. Google Plus is a phenomenal place in the various communities that live there. So you must get in and start to add value to these types of conversations in group communities so that people can start to see you as an expert and start to bring that, you know, start to come closer to you and look for your value and your services. So uh, number five, this is kind of an interesting one. I say be everywhere. I tell all my clients, you know, SEO, people, a lot of a lot of people come to our company thinking all we do is SEO and SEO is just one aspect. And I like to even re, uh, you know, is re- redefine SEO in a way even, is, and that is search everywhere optimization, meaning SEO isn't just search engine optimization, it's search everywhere optimization, and that's how you have to think about social media. You have to use tools like Hootsuite and Buffer and many other ones out there that can aid your process in helping you spread your message across multiple platforms and multiple mediums and without taking up six to eight hours of your day. There's that, <laughs> so many people think that, you know, I spend six, eight hours a day on social media. I really don't. I spend two or three hours a day maybe, and the, most of that is just, some of that is the activity of getting prepared to prepare my posts and getting them uploaded into my tools. And then the majority of my time is spent interacting with people on social media. So that's kind of the, the key there is be ready and use those tools. Number six, be yourself. Be 100% yourself. And, you know, I met a, a gentleman a few weeks ago, and, and he uh, has a very, uh, he's decided who his brand is. And he, he approached me, and we talked, and we were at a, a, a business function I was uh, uh, teaching and doing a presentation at. And he basically said, I'm 100% myself. 100% myself. You either love me 
or you hate me. And I couldn't have, have agreed with his statement any more. You have to just be willing to be yourself, add your opinion, and let the people who connect with you and share common ideas and thoughts with you uh, connect and want to be closer to you. So that's what people really want online. They don't want a sales pitch and a bunch of hype and all this other stuff. You know, gone are those days, and I hope you're not doing those types of things. So as we wrap this up, if you're ready to take your, your social media marketing to the next level, we'd love to invite you to continue uh, with our Yoko Local Tips series. We cover social media and a whole bunch of other types of topics. Uh, all you have to do is go visit us at yokolocal.com forward slash tips. It's free to get signed up, and we'll keep you posted on all of these tips, and we put out a good four to six tips a week. Uh, at least that's our goal every week, and we'd love to help use these, have these tips you, uh, help you in, as you grow your business. I'm getting a little tongue-tied. This is Daryl Evans. Be sure to hit me on Twitter if you want to chat a little bit further. Take care.